Hi, my name is Chris Orwig. I'm a photographer, a best-selling author, and I'm on the professional photography faculty at the Brooks Institute. Welcome to another episode of our podcast series, Creative Kickstart, where we ask the question, how can we become more creative? You know, one of the things that I've discovered as a teacher working with students and also in my own career is that there is an interesting ebb and flow, an interesting rhythm to creativity. In other words, there are times where I'm really creative. There are other times when I'm not. Also, sometimes creative ideas will happen in unlikely places, like in this back alley. You'll be walking along and all of a sudden, there it is. Other times, you can go days without having a really unique or creative thought at all. Now, why is that? And how can we, how can we stay creative? How can we stay inspired? Well, one of the things that I've found is that in order to stay creative, we have to really be in tune with our own creative process. I found that each of us have our own on time. That's what I call it. In other words, my on time is the morning before anyone else is awake. That is when I am most creative, most alive, most productive. And if you know your on time, you can then protect it and take advantage of it and do things that are creative during those times. There are other times like in the mid afternoon where my, my creative output, it isn't very high. I'm not very creative at that time. And so what I'd like to do in these Creative Kickstart podcasts is, is to raise some questions. And the question I would like you to ask yourself and ask others is, when are you most creative? Perhaps it's between 12 and 1 in the morning, or maybe it's, it's in the evening or in the morning or the middle of the day or whenever it is. Next, what you need to do is ask yourself, how can I take advantage of that time? Often what we do is we give away the best time of our on time. In other words, perhaps if you're really creative in the morning, maybe you're, you're doing something passive or you're checking email. Well, don't do that. You need to do things which are important during those important times. In other words, if your goal is to become a more creative photographer, well, do photography during those times and do the other stuff later. Protect and guard that time. Keep it sacred make the most of it. And what that will do is it will really increase your overall creative output. Well, thanks for joining me in this particular episode of our Creative Kickstart series. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>